Hi friends, welcome to Tassel Tuesday. Please be sure to check out our other collaborators. They will be listed in my description box. I wanted to let you know that I'm doing something a little bit different this week. We are combining Tassel Tuesday and also my BB Craft project share. You might remember that I got a lot of this thread here and so I'm going to make some purse charms and keychain charms with it. So before I get into showing you all of them, I wanted to let you know that if you would like to get free product from BB Craft, you can join the BB Craft program. You just need 100 subscribers. You can go into my description box and click on the link for the BB Craft program and apply. Once you're accepted, you will go to the website, order approximately $40 in products. They will ship it to you free of charge. You will just need to do three videos, one unboxing and two project shares, which is what I'm doing today. So let's start off by showing these cute little key ring tassels. These could be purse dangles or key ring dangles. The first one is brown, so I used this stuff but in the brown, and I added this cute charm on it, and it's got a dog bone, and then it's got this with a paw print, and then this cute little brown dog. These are adorable. So that's my first one. And then my second one is a mix of blue and brown. And it has a little thing that says, I love my dog. And then it's got a food bowl with a bone in it. And then this says best in show. And then there's a larger dog bone. And there's a cute heart. And then this looks like a pointer of some sort. So uh, I think that's pretty cute. These will be listed in my Etsy shop if you need a little purse dangle or a keychain. So this one is a nice keychain and it's got a lobster claw on it. This is done with the blue fibers and on it is this cute blue watch with some little flowers hanging from it. Today we will add some charms to this metal chain piece. This one I used the purple fibers. It's got these two rhinestone pieces and then also these large beautiful pearls. I'll add a clip to this so that it could be clipped on a purse or a keychain. We're going to take just a minute and we are going to add some beads to the light blue one. I'm going to start with an eye pin and I am putting three or four blue beads on it and then I will use my needle nose pliers and make a little loop. So I'm going to make two of them for this keychain and they're not exactly the same but they have the same stones on them. I just put them in a different order. I'm going to put jump rings on both of the dangles and then I'll be able to connect them to the little chain that is on the keychain. You'll notice that I have a bronze colored ring on my first finger and that is a tool that you can use to twist open your jump rings and it has four different size slots in it and so you pick the one that works best with the size jump ring that you're using. Sometimes I wear it on my finger and sometimes it's actually easier for me to just hold it. It depends on the size of the jump ring that I'm working with. Also, I wanted to let you know that it came with one of my BB Craft bead orders. Now we are going to begin working on a tiny tassel for a bookmark. I made one of these a few weeks ago, I think. Yeah, I think it was two or three weeks ago. And so I thought since we were coming on to St. Patty's Day pretty soon, I would use some of this beautiful green and make a tassel bookmark. I've used a little bit of the light green and a little bit of the dark green. Okay, the string is on the O-ring now and I am wrapping it with the dark green and then I will tie it in a double knot. And you might have seen me tug on it and that's just to make sure it's really tight and none of it is like sticking up like inside the circle. I hope that makes sense. Now I am just going to cut the pieces. 
because you know it's all one string right now well it's two because I used two different colors but you see how it's like looped right there so now I'm just gonna cut that and then when I'm done cutting it I will go ahead and trim it to size as you can see I kept a few of them long I did that just in case I wanted to put beads on them but in the end I did not end up putting beads on them because I ended up just beading on to the eye pins now I am just putting the beads onto an o-ring and then attaching that to the big bronze ring that the tassel is on and now I can attach that to the bookmark I'm using my needle nose pliers and then you see I grabbed that ring that has the four slots in it and I'm using that to tighten it. I'm not choosing to put it on my finger in this case because it was just easier for me to hold it. I'm going to trim the ends and then our bookmark is all finished. You will notice that there is one string that wants to stick out to the side and it's the one that I used to tie a knot in. So what I end up doing is I end up getting a large needle and I put that string through it and then I tuck it through the center behind the tie that I made. I hope that makes sense. Um, if you guys want me to, I can show you that in another video because this is a common problem when you tie knots. Okay, now we are on part two of our video. And in this part of our video, we are going to use the patches that I received from BB Craft. I love these. I bought them specifically for the fashion journal that I am working on. Now these are iron-on patches and so you can use these on your clothing or a backpack or you know whatever you might want to iron them onto but I'm going to use them in my journal because I thought they would be so cute you know they're made of sequins and I just I love them so I thought they would add a really cool you know just a cool sparkle to this journal so I am just going to be working on three different pages and I'll be showing you what I do with three of the patches. So before I can put my first patch on this page I need to go ahead and create a pocket. So that is what I have done here. I have chosen to use the patch that has the lips and it says love because who doesn't love fancy shoes? Well I don't love the way they feel but I sure love the way they look. For this next one, you can see that I have prepped the spread. On the left side, I have used pattern paper that a seamstress would use to create a piece of clothing. And then on the right side, I have a swatch of fabric. And this was given to me by my friend Tina. And it comes from the there's a line of like bags you can get monogrammed I want to say 21 but I, I don't know I can't quite remember but probably most of you even have one of those bags at any rate so she gave me these swatches and I thought ooh, how fun for the fashion journal so I've got that in there it's bright pink as you can see and I am using to create a pocket I am using a piece of paper that has lips on it and black polka dots so I think this is a totally cute spread and nothing would look better than this lipstick so I'm using my Fabri-Tac and I am going to adhere this lipstick to the pocket to, to mention to you that the image of the man and the woman is an image from Dreaming Hearts Company and I will put their link in my description box as well. I'm using three of those images in this video because I think they work so well in my fashion journal. Okay, so we are gonna get to work on our last one for this video. I am adding some more of that pattern paper. It's really fun to work with. It's very lightweight. It's like tissue paper. I am adhering it with glue stick. Glue stick seems to work fine with tissue paper and napkins, so that is what what I'm doing here. I have a book that I have removed this image of. I believe this is Brooke Shields and she is in a stunning dress so I am cutting her out doing a little fussy cutting here and she is going to go on this page as well. I have this beautiful die cut here and 
uh, as soon as I saw it, I knew I wanted it in the fashion journal. I believe Annie with Annie Creates gave this to me. I'm pretty certain, but it also might have been Paper Kitty 99. I apologize that I don't remember which one of you gave me this gorgeous die cut, but thank you. Thank you to both of you for sending me anything. I so much appreciate it. So I have adhered this beautiful die right on top of Brooke, and I just think it looks really cool. I know, you know, it might be strange for a lot of you, but it just to me looks like she's behind a wrought iron fence or something. I just think it looks really cool. So the next thing we're gonna do is we are gonna go ahead and add a pocket. I'm gonna go ahead and put a black pocket on the page, and we are gonna go ahead and adhere this pink martini glass with the high heel in it. I just absolutely love this patch. So I'm putting that on the black paper and I'm doing that before I cut the paper because I want to make sure that I don't mess up my cut. All right, I am folding the corner down. I like to do that on my pockets. It makes that edge thicker so it's easier to get tags in and out of it and gives it a little bit of thickness and longevity. I hope you enjoyed our little bit of an unusual tassel Tuesday. Thanks for watching. See you soon.